What's up, Michael here with Fitter Media, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can dynamically power your FAQ section by using the Webflow CMS so that you can add or create new FAQs directly from the CMS, which means you can also do it from the editor too, and then you don't have to go into the designer and try messing around with your FAQ section. This also makes it helpful because you can put your FAQs on different parts of your website, and you can edit all of them from one page. Additionally, since we're using the uh, CMS, we can filter the FAQs based on the pages we are adding them to and a lot more. So without any further ado, let's get right into it. Okay, so this is the FAQ section we are going to be building. As you can see, it is pretty standard. You click on the FAQ and it reveals the answer. But what is different about this is these FAQs are actually being powered by the CMS. So if I were to go out of preview mode and go to CMS collections, we have one CMS collection called FAQs. If I were to go to the settings, you can see it's pretty simple. Uh, we have the title, which is the question, and then we have a custom field, um, one rich text. That is where um, the answer is. The reason we made it rich text is that we can add links to it if we need to, images, whatever we want to. Now, your CMS collection can be this simple, or you can make it as complex as you like. It doesn't really matter. You can just do this whatever suits your needs best. But once we have that CMS collection set up, now it's time where we can start building the CMS powered FAQs. Okay, so I just removed the FAQs that we have built here to show you how it's gonna work. So let's start building these from scratch. Now I'm not gonna show you how to really build an FAQ section, like how the toggles and the interactions work. I think we have another video on that, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply go to the add panel and I'm gonna go under layouts and I already have the untitled UI library added. So I'm just gonna use one of their pre-built FAQ sections. So I'm just gonna type in FAQ and I'm going to drag and drop this one inside. Now what I want is I only want these FAQs. I don't want the title and everything that they have with it. So I'm just gonna go down through these divs and I'm going to find the FAQ section itself. Um, right here, FAQ list. So I'm just going to drag that out and then I'm going to remove all the other stuff they have and I'm gonna put it under my heading. And you can see if we go to preview mode, these FAQs are working perfectly. So now all that we have to do is we have to drop in a collection list and then we basically just connect the dots and we have a CMS powered FAQ section. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to the ad panel and I'm going to go back to elements and then I'm gonna go down to CMS and choose the collection list. I'm just gonna drop that under CMS powered FAQs. And then from here, we need to grab our FAQ accordion. So we're just gonna copy that and we're gonna open up our collection list wrapper, open up our collection list and then within our collection item, we're just gonna paste our um, accordion. So we got an error, connect this collection list. So the error we just got just means we have to connect this collection first. So we're gonna choose source, and then we're gonna click on FAQs. And now within the collection item, we can paste our FAQ. Now you can see if we were to preview this, we have three new FAQs up here, and we can uh, preview the answer just like uh, we could before. Now what we're gonna do is with our collection list, we are going to go to the style panel and we're just gonna add our class, uh, whatever class name you have that is wrapping your FAQ accordions, you wanna add that class to the collection list. So this is default. I'm gonna just grab this default class from untitled UI and I'm going to add it to the collection list. This is just gonna add the pre-built styles that it already had. Now I can actually delete this FAQ list that we installed. And then from here, all we have to do is connect the dots. So what we're gonna do is we are gonna select our FAQ title. We're gonna click on the settings icon. We're gonna choose get text from FAQs. We're gonna select the field and we're gonna get the text from the question. So there we go. You can see it actually dynamically pulled in all of the questions. So who is Fitter Media? What is Webflow? How Fitter, Fitter Media can help? If we go to our FAQs, you can see who is Fitter Media? What is Webflow? How Fitter Media can help? And then from here, I can't use this text because this ain't a rich text, so I'm just gonna drop in a quick rich text element. And then we're just gonna add this class for styling. 
And then now we can delete this text. And then from here, we can connect our rich text to the CMS. So click on the settings icon, go click on get text from FAQs, and then click on answer. And if we preview this, you can see all of the questions and answers are dynamically being pulled in from the CMS, which means if I go back, go to our collection list and I go and I delete an FAQ. So now we only have two in here. If I go back and preview, you can see we only have two FAQs, which means we can now add this FAQ section to another page on the website and we can dynamically change, add or edit different FAQs from the CMS. So I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. Also, we offer unlimited Webflow design and development at a flat monthly rate, and we work with B2B and SaaS companies. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, there'll be a special offer just for you in the description below.